Rejection can be so tough when it comes to a girl that you like. And I get how frustrating it can be when you're trying to attract a girl, especially one that you're really interested in. And then once again, you come to the point where she's just not that interested in you. Once you learn these three secrets today that most guys don't know, you're gonna be able to get to the point where women are gonna start paying attention to you and not just pay attention to you, but they're actually going to start to chase you if you do this correctly. And stick around to number three because this one's gonna be one of the most important ones to really tie everything together here for you. First, you wanna react unemotionally to everything. Another way of saying that is you're going to be non-reactive to everything and anything that's happening when you are with her. But let me explain. I don't mean that you're gonna be a complete zombie with no emotions whatsoever. Obviously, you're human and that's gonna be very robotic and weird. But what I'm saying is, you need to not react too harshly or emotionally when things come up in conversation or something happens that can really kill the mood. Here's a few examples. For one, let's say that you're going out with a girl and they're a little bit behind on the reservation and you have to wait an extra 15 minutes. Well, the guy who's going to be very reactionary is going to be complaining about it, going to be upset about it, obviously in a bad mood. Or you can have the guy who's reactionless, who's more stoic, who realizes, okay, there's a problem, there's nothing we can do about it, so let's just have a good time in the meantime. Let's say even that she teases you or makes some light fun of you and is just joking around. Are you going to get defensive? Are you gonna be a person who's going to just try to make sure that you look the best and not take any shit from anyone? Or are you gonna be a guy who's gonna be able to go along with the joke and just be reactionless to whatever she's saying? So of course, if she tells a story or she's engaging with you in conversation, this is not a time to be emotionless and reactionless. Yes, react to that. It's just those little moments where she's gonna be looking to test you to see, is this guy gonna be full of reactions in a situation that might be uncomfortable? Is he not gonna be able to take a joke? Is he gonna complain a lot? Is he gonna show me that his life is really hard? Once those things happen, you start to lose attraction. Number two, women are not gonna be with a guy who doesn't have some sort of purpose or vision for his life. Now, I know a lot of guys, especially you, you might be commenting down below that step one, be attractive, step two, have money. And yes, those things help. The most important thing you can do if you're not super tall, if you're not super attractive, and if you're not super rich is have purpose and vision because if you have that, women will be attracted to you. They just wanna know that you have a life that something's going on with you, that you are in love with your career, that one day you might be successful or maybe you are successful right now. And that doesn't mean making multiple six figures. It just means that you're on some sort of path and mission and purpose. And you can be 22 or you can be 50 years old or 60, it doesn't matter as long as you have something going on in your life, a life that she can be part of then you will see that she will be head over heels and will want to continue to spend time with you. It's those guys who have nothing going on, who are at home with uh, on their parents' couch, completely lazy, no friends, and just nothing going for them. Those guys are not able to attract women as easily as the others. Next, you wanna make sure that you have her feeling something emotional around you. That means that if she doesn't have any spike of emotions, she's not gonna to wanna to continue to be around you. And here's the real secret. The emotion can be one of many. It can be happy, it can be excited, it can be scared, although we'll get to that, you don't wanna scare her. It can even be dangerous. It has to have something, because if there's no emotion in your time hanging out with her, in your interactions and conversations, she won't remember you and attraction can't be built. So when you're with her, you wanna joke around, you wanna make her laugh, you wanna be flirting with her. You wanna be doing stuff with her out of the ordinary, like going on an adventure. I remember a time when, and I know this is gonna sound lame, and I've never done it since, but God, did it worked. I told a girl before she came over on a second date to bring over three random objects. I told her what to bring. I said, when you come over, I want you to bring a pen, garlic salt, and a scissors. Three random objects. Why did I do this? because I wanted to give her an idea that something weird, interesting is going to happen. Now, I'm not telling you this, so you should do this. It's not really good advice, but it's a great example where 
a girl came over. She actually brought those things and she was very intrigued of what was going on. Now, I didn't have anything going on and I made a light joke of it just to tease her and see if she would actually bring those things. Again, not something you should do. It was a weird pickup tactic that I used, but it worked. And the point being is that when you're doing something out of the ordinary, when you're not like the rest of the other guys out there and you're able to spike those emotions, she's gonna remember you. If you guys are going on a roller coaster ride or doing something fun and adventurous, spike of emotions, she's gonna remember you. If you're driving really fast in your sports car, she's gonna remember you. Now, I know that some of these things might not be practical advice, but one way you can spike emotions is through your conversation and the way that you flirt with her. And I actually have a video that you can watch right after this one that's gonna teach you exactly what to say to a girl when you're flirting with her to spike those emotions. And if you're struggling to do this on your own and you feel like this is a big leap to get to the point where you're making women attracted, you can always come over here to the Trip Advice Accelerator Coaching Program where you can get a one-on-one -on -one coach that will teach you everything that you need to do to get more women interested in you, whether it be online or in person.